In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to configure our Corona projects in order to take advantage of the at 2x suffix system for retina images on iPhone 4. We'll take a look at the config.lua file. And here I've added some lines within the content portion of the file. These lines are image suffix equals open and close curly braces, square brackets with a string at 2x equals 2. In a moment, we'll take a look at the constructor new image rect that allows us to uh, create images that can take advantage of this image suffix portion of the config.lua file, which is essentially a portion that uh, defines image scaling according to the suffix. So we'll close this and now take a look in the folder images. There's the dot from our previous movie. And here's the dot twice as large with the at to x suffix. So this, we will code according to the original version. Um, and as well, we'll take note that the height and width are 120 pixels. But the height and width of this version here is 240. So that explains the two in the um, config.lua. Okay, let's edit the main.lua file. We'll type local circle 01 equals display dot new image rect. So that's different than before because before we didn't have the rect on the end. Open and close the parentheses. And now the string that is the path images slash dot 01 dot PNG. Now you don't need to put the at 2x here because this new image rect um, we'll take care of the image scaling. Okay, we'll type comma. Now we do have to enter the width and the height. And this is the width and the height at the one to one ratio, not the at 2x, which is really 240 by 240. Save and let's take a look. So there it is, but you'll notice that it's different from when we created it using the new image constructor in that the zero zero of the image is in the center of the image. So we're going to take a look at the um, method set reference point. So let's do new line circle 01 colon set reference point open and close parentheses and I've got the Corona docs open in the background. And here you can see the set object set reference point constructor and these are the different arguments. And what this does is set where the reference point for the object should be so that when you position it X and Y, it'll position according to that reference point. Right now, the default is it's in the center. We're going to change it to the top left. So we'll copy display dot top left reference point and paste that within the parentheses. Notice this is not a string. Save it. If we rendered it, nothing would happen because after we do that, we need to actually position the object circle 01 dot X equals zero circle 01 dot Y equals zero. Okay. Let's go to the simulator and there we go. So the reference point is right here. And if we changed it to top right and re-rendered it, we don't see the image, but actually it's here off screen because now the image has a top right reference point at zero, zero. Okay, let's set it back to top left. And we're going to um, look at the content uh, width and content height properties of Corona. So let's actually start above circle 01, say local underscore H capital equals display dot content um, height local underscore W capital display dot content width. So this particular um, method here returns the height of the stage for the device and this one returns the width. This is advantageous because 
unless you're specifically developing for a specific platform, this is going to change. On iPhone 4, the content width is 640 pixels. iPhone 3GS, it's only 320. On Droid devices, it varies greatly. So we'll use um, this particular property because it'll allow us flexible positioning according to uh, the device that we're using. Uh, thankfully, when using iOS devices, you're really just looking at um, twice as wide or twice as tall, so there, it's not as uh, funky to deal with. So here's what we'll do. We'll set this to, to bottom left, left reference point, and we'll set the Y equal to display.content height. Okay. Let's see what happens. There it is. The height of this uh, stage is 960 pixels. And that's really what the H represents. But if we were on uh, an iPhone 3G, it would only be 480 pixels, but still it would be displayed at the bottom, which is really nice. This also gives us the way to easily center content in the middle of the screen. We'll just put center reference point. I believe that's what it is. Yep. And now the way you center something on the screen is on the X, you take the horizontal. So that's the content width divided by two. And on the Y, you take the content height uh, divided by two. Well, it looks like I messed up here. Save it and let's take a look. So now the button is um, perfectly centered and this, this gives you a way to perfectly center items in any display groups too. You take the width of the group divided by two, that gives you its center and um, the height, the same thing.